Testosterone is the main male sex hormone, which is mainly synthesized by the interstitial cells of the testicles, but is also present in lower quantities in women, where it is produced by the ovaries and adrenal glands. Testosterone levels progressively decrease as the years pass and are part of the normal physiological process of aging in both men and women. After peaking during adolescence and early adulthood, testosterone levels begin to decline gradually around age 30, by about 1 to 2 percent each year, and then decline further after age 45. To increase testosterone levels naturally, there are a number of strategies to adopt which have been scientifically proven. But what are they? Let's go see them. Nutrition Nutrition can interfere with testosterone levels as the foods we consume, or rather some vitamins and minerals, can positively or negatively influence its production. Zinc, for example, is an essential mineral for our body as it performs numerous functions, such as intervening in the regulation of some hormones, such as insulin, growth hormone, and sexual hormones. In fact, some studies have shown that an insufficient amount of zinc in the body is responsible for lower serum testosterone levels and that supplementation of this mineral can increase testosterone levels. Among the foods that contain a greater quantity of zinc, we find products of animal origin, in particular mollusks and crustaceans, meat, such as beef and turkey, eggs, milk, and its derivatives. Zinc is also found in variable quantities in some foods of plant origin, such as wheat and legumes, but also in oil seeds, including sesame, pumpkin, and hemp seeds and in nuts, particularly in Brazil nuts, walnuts, almonds, and hazelnuts. Recent studies have highlighted an association between a vitamin D deficiency and reduced testosterone levels. One potential mechanism has been attributed to the presence of vitamin D receptors in testicular cells, which having the ability to bind to the active form of vitamin D, appear to modulate gene expression, thus influencing testosterone production. Vitamin D is mainly synthesized by our body following exposure of the skin to UVB sun rays and to a lesser extent through some foods we eat, such as fatty fish, including salmon, mackerel, and herring, egg yolk, cod liver oil, and other animal foods such as pork, beef liver, and butter. According to a study conducted by a group of researchers from the University of Graz in Austria, vitamin D supplementation led to an increase in testosterone levels in men who had a deficiency of this vitamin. However, other research has shown conflicting results, so further studies will be needed. Magnesium is another precious and essential mineral for the health and well-being of our body. In addition to regulating blood pressure and muscle contraction, there is evidence that magnesium exerts a positive influence on anabolic hormonal status, including testosterone. The results of a study conducted by researchers at Selçuk University in Turkey showed that magnesium supplementation increases free and total testosterone values in both sedentary people and athletes. Increases that were greater among those who practiced physical activity compared to sedentary individuals. Magnesium is present in almost all foods, although in different concentrations. Larger quantities are contained in green leafy vegetables, whole grains and legumes, but also in bananas, dark chocolate, and nuts. Physical activity. Countless studies have shown how important physical exercise is for keeping the entire body healthy, thus bringing a series of benefits to health in general, not only in terms of prevention of various pathologies, but also when health problems are already present. 
Physical activity has also shown a link with serum testosterone levels, and analysis of existing medical scientific literature demonstrates a large degree of variability in hormonal changes during exercise. This is because they depend on a number of factors, such as age, body weight, and type of exercise, as well as the intensity, volume, and type of muscle involved. According to the result of a study conducted in 2020 at the University of Texas Medical Branch in the United States, resistance exercise, especially weightlifting, can increase serum testosterone concentration. This phenomenon is more common when training is carried out with multi-joint exercises, that is those that involve multiple muscle groups and which require the coordination of different joints during the execution of the exercise. To obtain an adequate hormonal response, it is necessary to train with a greater training volume and with a moderate high intensity, therefore using loads that require significant effort on the muscles. It has also been found that shorter periods between training sets can result in higher increases in serum testosterone concentrations. Aerobic exercises, on the other hand, such as walking, swimming, running, and cycling, although they bring numerous health benefits, including cardiovascular and metabolic health, do not seem to stimulate testosterone production in the same way as weightlifting. This is because aerobic exercises are more oriented towards improving cardiorespiratory capacity and reducing fat mass, rather than increasing muscle mass and strength which are instead related to a greater hormonal response, such as testosterone. A study conducted by some Japanese researchers examined a sample of 41 overweight and obese men before and after carrying out an aerobic exercise program for 90 minutes a day, three times a week for 12 weeks. At the end of this period, the researchers found that the serum testosterone levels of the men examined had significantly increased, regardless of age and changes in body mass. However, the same changes were not seen in the sedentary young men who followed their same training program. This is because overweight and obese people tend to have different metabolic and hormonal profiles than normal weight individuals, therefore responding differently to aerobic exercises. In conclusion, the decrease in testosterone levels can be due both to the normal physiological process of aging and to pathologies affecting the hypothalamus, pituitary gland or testicles, but also to the use of some drugs, such as anabolic steroids or chronic diseases, such as diabetes, liver cirrhosis and kidney failure. For this reason, it is important to consult a doctor to identify the cause responsible for low testosterone levels so that you can subsequently receive the most suitable and effective treatment based on your medical condition.